Hello everyone, this is part 2 of my patents review video where I will share with you my favorite websites for sewing patterns. Some of them are for free, so it's worth watching up to the end. If you didn't see the first part about Vicky's use patterns, definitely check it out. The first garment that I wanted to show you is the purple dress that I created myself. It is comfy and perfect for an everyday casual look. I used my basic pattern that I did during my sewing course. I changed the position of the darts, added ruffles on the shoulders and made a v-neck in front and the back of the dress. If you don't have your own basic pattern, I found two interesting options. The first one is on the website patterneasy.com. It has a pattern creator, which I found very interesting. I never tried it, but I believe it is worth experimenting. Here are some tips how to make more accurate measurements. It can be easily translated in Google. The first pattern is for a fitted dress, the second for less fitted. I would use this option. To use the pattern creator, you need to put your measurements. Some of them you cannot make by yourself, so you can open another link for standard measurements and choose the missing information. Just choose the size as close as possible to your measurements. The chest height and chest center are important to pull so that the darts are placed more accurately. Besides the measurements, there is an option to specify characteristics of your shoulders – normal, sloping shoulders or high shoulders. And your figure – normal, stooped figure or exaggerated lumbar curve. There is 8 cm ease in the chest area, 9 cm at waist and 5 cm at hips. Now just need to name the pattern and register to be able to see it before buying. I will enter through my contact account. This is how the pattern will look like. The parts are on top of each other, so we need to copy the sleeve first before cutting out the pattern. Be careful with the overlapped parts on the bottom. Another interesting thing on this website is that they have a so-called pattern of the day with a promotional price of 79 rubles per pattern. With the current exchange rate it is less than a dollar. The pattern is chosen randomly and today, for example, it is a tweed jacket. For 
unfortunately the website doesn't have English version and the instructions that they provide don't have pictures, just technical drawings that are difficult to understand sometimes. Another website where you can find a basic pattern is Zagrasse. In English version there are two basic patterns, one for knitwear and the other for non-stretch fabrics. Grasse patterns have detailed instructions with pictures. If you switch to a Russian version, then you will have more options. Basic patterns are on the 8th page at the moment. So here we have different kinds of sleeves, knitwear or non-stretch fabrics and different fit, more or less fitted. For my purple dress, I would use this pattern. It has 8 cm ease at the chest area. Well, this dress is one of the most difficult I've ever made for myself and the uh, most favorite one. It is just a pilot to see how it fits me. Though the fabric was cheap, I still used it to go outside a couple of times. I think it doesn't look that bad. Anyway, for this summer I'm planning to buy linen fabric for this dress. As for changes, I reduced the length of the dress and the sleeves. I made cut out smaller, not to expose my back too much. And uh, instead of buttons, I used a zipper. I love this dress. It's true to size and easy to adjust thanks to an elastic band in front. Added. I also added an elastic tape to sit tighter on my figure and not to slide down like in the picture. Like biggest use patterns, each grass pattern has its own Instagram hashtag. Just need to type hashtag grasser and the number of the pattern. The next piece is an insulated hood. It has one size only. I quilted the fabric using 100, uh, 100 gram insulation. As my coat has a deeper neckline, I had to make big of uh, the front part of the hood. I like to use it instead of a scarf, but I don't wear it on my hat. It looks a bit strange to my taste. I chose the color close to the color of my coat. But it would be interesting if you could combine some bright trendy colors together. To make this metallic pull for jacket, I used the vest pattern. I couldn't find a red zone pattern for this project, so I had to add sleeves, hood, and made the color higher. It is definitely the most difficult project I've ever made up to now.
The hood and the fur are detached. I used 100 gram insulation and artificial down. Now it's time for kids wear. The star design on this nylon shirt was created by me. I made a drawing of the word star in Photoshop and then quilted all the stars on the fabric. I took too long to finish the jacket, so my daughter grew up during summer and the sleeves became short. Talking about the sleeves, I made them a bit narrower. To finish the project quicker, I used the same fabric for lining, so I didn't need to worry about preparing the facing and lining. It is a good idea to practice first on a separate piece of fabric, because the round parts of the letters are pretty tricky to make. The pattern for this jacket is from Milky Clouds. I love their kids' patterns. I'm planning to make some dresses for my daughter. They look so adorable. The size table has height, bust, waist and hip circumference measurements. Purchasing the pattern, you will receive in your email a link to download the PDF pattern and the instructions. The instructions have step-by-step -step directions and photos. Unfortunately, they are in Russian. The next is Hoodie Miranda. It is a very good pattern and it is true to size. The next three dresses will be based on the same basic pattern. This one is my version of Aurora's dress. Unlike hot summer Brazilian carnival, carnival in Portugal is in winter. Nevertheless, the kids are accustomed to walk in the streets to show off their costumes. But in shops you usually find costume dresses made for summer. Fabric is very light, no sleeves. So, my version is 100% adapted to winter reality. The dress has long sleeve and even polar fleece lining. 
like in case of my purple dress, you need to have a basic pattern that will be modified. I did the same model for Belle's dress from Beauty and the Beast and filled every step. I just need to edit it. So the basic pattern for this dress is from Katya Mkhitaryan. She has her own group in Vkontakte and also a website. I find it easier to download from Vkontakte group. So, there are free patterns, paid patterns and the website link. There are lots of free patterns. Sometimes there are even step-by-step -step tutorials. All in Russian, of course. So, this is the pattern, the dress with ruffles. seam allowance included and this pattern is for knitwear this tutorial I used for purple sun dress that I will show you later and here are the files to download This black dress I didn't make in 2021, but I wanted to show you how versatile this pattern is. The velvet fabric doesn't stretch and I used it anyway. I used this tutorial to make some changes to the bodice. Then I changed the sleeves and added a collar. Sophia still could use it for Halloween last year as I made the sleeves a bit longer. Here is my another creation based on the tutorial with the striped sundress. If you like my idea and want to learn how I did it, let me know in the comments. And finally, this blue cotton shirt I did for music school presentations. As usual, I made some changes. I made the sleeves longer, added a bow and removed overlapped parts on the back. It is true to size and I'm very happy with the final results, though I had some trouble to add the bow. So this is the pattern and some sizes are for free, just put it into the cart and log in. The pattern will be inside your account area.
out the files for download. So this is it for today, I hope you found my video useful. More detailed information will be available in my blog. I'll leave a link below. Bye!